the Holy Father recently sat down for a wide-ranging interview with the editors of a Jesuit magazine. It was released earlier this week and touches on a number of topics, including the church in Germany and here in the U.S. And joining us now from Rome is Andreas Townhauser, EWTN Vatican Bureau Chief. Andreas, can you tell us more about the Pope's comments on the U.S. and Germany? Certainly, Eric. This interview is making headlines also over here, quoting the Pope's comment on the U.S., where he sees what he called restorers, Catholics who would not accept the Second Vatican Council in the U.S. These comments were inspired by a question on spiritual renewal of the Church. Ignoring Vatican II would be an obstacle to church renewal, Pope Francis suggested. But overall, Eric, the U.S. remark was brief in nature and more of an aside if we look at the whole interview. The Pope gave much more space to commenting on the German synodal path. The German journalist asking the question tried to frame the situation at German church in a positive way. Pope Francis did not accept this. He explicitly warned that we would not need two evangelical churches, as he wrote in a letter to the head of the German Bishops' Conference, Bishop Betzing. The Holy Father resented that the synodal path is being led more by intellectual elites and is much influenced by external pressures. Eric, the Pope obviously sees the political agenda that leading figures in the German church pursue. And Bishop Betzing is quite open about the fact that he wants the church to change same-sex relationships and women ordinations are amongst the top priorities. But the Pope was clear that he is not happy with this. Pope Francis wrote an extensive letter to Catholics in Germany in 2019, addressing what he called the erosion and the decline of the faith in the country. Catholics should convert, pray and fast, and bring the gospel to the people. Topics that are of little relevance to the theological elites pushing the German synodal way. And I understand that next week's going to be very busy for the Holy Father with the World Meeting of Families, and he just canceled his participation in tomorrow's Corpus Christi festivities and his trip to Africa in July. Now, will the Pope be able to participate in these events? Well, Eric, we all hope that the Holy Father will be able to participate. EWTN is actually the official media partner of the World Meeting of Families and will be live broadcasting from Wednesday through Sunday. Pope Francis will appear in several locations, and we're looking forward to welcoming thousands of delegate families from across the world, especially also from the U.S. The delegation will be led by Archbishop Cordiglione. And Eric, in the run-up to this world meeting, Pope Francis addressed the importance of family as the nucleus of society several times. He affirmed that families founded a marriage just last Friday in a meeting with the Federation of Catholic Family Associations in Europe, which is a family think tank. Family, Pope Francis said, is the first cell of our communities. And regarding his health, the Pope is obviously not doing well. That is why things are being canceled. But he's very disciplined, and I'm rather confident to see him at the festivities next week. He's still answering, for example, letters personally. A few weeks back, my own daughter, nine years old, sent him a painting of St. Peter's with the recently canonized saints, assuring him of her prayers. And he thanked her personally with a handwritten note. Wow, that is amazing. Well, tonight I understand that you're holding another one of EWTN's Rome, uh, Roman Nights events on the rooftop of our Vatican Bureau. Now, the panel will discuss a wide variety of topics uh, about the world meeting of the families next week. Real quick, can you introduce us to the theme of this year's event? Sure. Uh, the theme of the world meeting of families will be family love, a vocation and a path to holiness. And this is what I will be discussing with the organizers of the event and family expert here on our terrace. Our viewers can see it on our YouTube channels or enjoy a summary on our Vaticano show very soon. Can't wait for that. Well, Andreas Townhauser, thank you so much for joining us, EWTN Vatican Bureau Chief.